that obviously is something that we want to work on. We want to create an environment uh, that works for everybody, as opposed to one winner and one winner. Else and sir, how important you know, the theme here is, is, is people who don't have political experience making it to the top of this race. Is this going to help you overall withstand all that's going on? Well, I think what is really important is that you know how to solve problems. Right. And do you have a brain? Right. And do you have the brain? And if the answer to all those things is yes, Thank you. Thank you. What does that mean? I'm already differentiated. I'm not a politician. I'm not going to go for what's politically expedient. I'm going to go for what's right. I'm going to go for what I believe. When it comes to the attacks that Trump could deliver tonight, are you planning to attack back? Or ignore um, I would probably handle that like I always handle attacks, and that is to say, let's move on to something important. <laughs> All right, thank you so much. Absolutely. Dr. Carson, how do you feel about the letter that Governor Brown sent to you? Uh, I think that climate change uh, is probably blown out of proportion and <laughs> used as a political wedge when in fact we should and we should all be thinking about how we can pass it on to the next generation in better shape, not making it into a political football. Okay, this is where afterwards is the spin room. Oh, okay. okay. This is where everybody will be from the media right. after the event. Okay. Okay, and over here to the right. Dr. Carson, are you starting to think about particular states in, in your campaign here so that you uh, want to win? Okay. okay. Dr. Carson, how are you feeling about tonight? You just got to give your tour of the, of the setup up there. How are you feeling? I feel very comfortable. Excuse me. Not a problem. The focus what? group's hey. like you. <laughs> cool. Uh, Great to see you. You know, get living uh, proof that nice guys can't finish first. I, I hope so. Um, because can you imagine what could happen in our country if we stopped trying to kill each other? And started using my like collective intellect. Civility and decency. Absolutely. You got it. You got Dr. it. Carson, what's Funny that we should you? meet here. Yeah, I know. In the spin room. <laughs> That's right. Right here. What's different for this debate than the first debate for you? Uh, I'm much better now. I'll be in the center of the stage, so it'll be much more difficult for them to ignore me. That's a good thing. What's your approach to Mr. Trump? We would be right off your shoulder tonight. Uh, I will treat him like I do everybody else on the stage. Um, and I would expect that he would be kind of <laughs> What was your pregame today? What did you do today? I uh, traveled from uh, Florida to California. <laughs> no pregame warm-up for you? No. This uh, is it. <laughs> yeah, this is it. You know, yesterday I got a haircut. Looks I, good. Actually, I got several haircuts. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I went and saw my dental hygienist and uh, played a little pool. Relax. Folks say the pressure's on, Dr. Carson, to prove that you can be, that you're top tier, that you're number two in the polls, that you're neck and neck with mm -hmm. Donald Trump. Do you feel the pressure? I, I don't. I don't feel any pressure at all. You know, being who I am is what got me here. And, uh, I will continue to be who I am. Will not try to make changes. You know, I do find it a little hilarious when you look at some of the so-called experts and say, "Carson needs to do this, and Carson needs to do that." Hey, Carson needs to be Carson. Okay, thanks everybody. Thank you, We're gonna head, Good luck head back Thank out. You. Which way? Follow Xavier. Thank you, folks. Carson. What message do you describe? Mm -hmm. you to the no, we're going this way. I'm sorry, say one more time? Uh, we can use every resource that we have available to us. Well, you know, I believe that the thing that is much more important than spending many years in the political world is spending many years solving problems. Speaking of problems, you can, you can always surround yourself with people who have lots of political experience. But what you can't necessarily surround yourself 
And, and what would you do about the Iran deal uh, upon assuming the presidency? Well, recognize that because it was done as an executive agreement, yes. it really doesn't uh, hold in its way, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. President. Thanks, guys. Thank you, ladies. Thank you, ladies. Well, I'm just upstairs with the